Megyn Kelly is going viral. Well said, Al. Uh, because of a Twitter back and forth with Colin Kaepernick over the killing of Sol Soleimani, the Iranian general. I'm going to tell you a little story so you get it. On Saturday, Kaepernick tweeted, there is nothing new about American terrorist attacks against black and brown people for the expansion of American imperialism. Megyn Kelly tweeted back, because everything is racist. Everything. Even fighting back against terrorists who kill Americans. That's when filmmaker Ava DuVernay jumped in, telling Megyn, shame on you. Then Kelly replied, no, I will not be shamed over calling out bull bleep claims of racism, which undermine the legitimate claims killing a terrorist is not about skin color, it's about protecting our country. That's when DuVernay replied with this, saying, educate yourself before you talk about racism and legitimate claims. You sound like what you are, ignorant, mm. attention-seeking, and desperate, and then this ending was great. That will be all. <laughs> it's like a Miranda Priestly. that will yeah. be all. I, I, I think what Kaepernick was saying, and agree with me or not, is that we have a history of going in, taking over brown people in terms of imperialism, and that led to a lot of they're bad, we're good, which eventually led to the fighting that we have now. Is that what you guys got from that? Well, I think that it's a question worth, worth asking. Even when I read Kaepernick's tweet, I was like, let me think about how I feel about this. I think it's a question worth asking, but nobody wants to hear it from Megyn Kelly because she already was on the wrong side of history yeah. with the blackface statements. Point. And so coming from her, automatically everybody's on the defense. But I think she's just asking if we're killing somebody who's killed and has 100 American bodies on their hands based on them sending out people and saying, yes, go do this and being the go-to person for all those attacks, are, are we wrong for attacking them? And I think that some people are on the side of, including myself, that he we are better off without him in the world, but now what? I don't, like yeah. we talked about before, what's the plan moving forward? Right, is there chaos? I also don't like the way the process it was done. We're not a monarchy. You can't just say, kill someone, assassinate. We are a checks and balances democracy, and I think it wasn't done the right but way. What Colin Kaepernick did is what the Dixie Chicks did back in 2003 when they came out and they spoke out against George Bush in the Iraqi war. Remember, they were blackballed for that. So I see um, uh, Megyn Kelly being that American patriot that's been brainwashed by a American history. We could talk about American uh, imperialism and the geopolitical entrance that we've uh, kind of implemented on different countries and societies. But at the same time, you think of Toby Keith's song when we're talking about these American patriots. He's got a song called Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. He says, you'll be sorry that you mess with the U.S. of A because we'll put a boot in your but it's the American way. And that's how a lot of people are thinking when it comes to these wars and American interests, Al. And it's kind of, that's why we're so divided on, we're talking about cultural sites or should we go to war right now? We're, we're so well, divided on I, some people don't want to go and some I people are we, like, we'll we kick lose, your butt. We lose, you lose everybody when you start using the word we. It's never we, it's always them. They're going to war. Yeah. You're going to sit here and write, I mean, I'm sure Toby Keith wrote that when he was a young man. Hey, the Blackhawks over there, Toby. Getting why is he? Why is he now? Right. Where, where, you're over here writing songs, yeah. tough guy. Where are you at? Yeah. You're at your concert, counting your money. That's fine. Everybody wants to talk about we and them. It, it's always them when we're sending 20 year olds to go watch their friends get killed. It's always yeah, watch what we do. It's never we. The people watching the show is not we. It's not us. We're just talking. We're running our mouth because we don't have we don't have a, a, a dog, dog in this fight. fight. Yeah. You know who is, yeah. who does the people that crashed uh, the website to see if they were going to be drafted. That's who has a dog in this fight. So before we start talking, well, I don't want to listen to any other 40 year olds talk about this. Yeah. I want to talk about uh, talk to 20 year olds or people that are on their 17 year olds. Talk, old, talk yeah. to people on their third deployment. Yeah. I don't want to hear anything from anybody watching this show or on this panel. It's, I don't want to hear none from y'all because we have no dog in this fight. But we can always pray for our servicemen and women who are going over there. To and fight. As of a course. Citizen, and I'd like I, to hear from them. And yeah. as a citizen, not though, Toby I can, Keith. Right, but I can vote. Who's in a private jet? Very true. We've made Al salty. All right. Well, TV oh, is man. Poor. Did I you do that? I, I was in a good mood. I wanted to go say You know what? I had an iced coffee this morning. I didn't have a, a hot coffee. He's really upset that he had iced coffee. Let's just call it. Can we get out of coffee? Okay. Let's get out. Yeah. Yeah. Al got an iced okay. coffee, and yeah. it's messed with his mind because he likes a hot beverage. Yes. Okay. Give me, I'm yeah. glad we I got need that to taken care of. I'm going to properly caffeinated. I stepped out of my lane and wow. see what happens. Sorry, you're mad, Steve. I'm yelling at Toby Keith. I'm sorry.